across the board, a lot of studies have shown that um, testing for gonorrhea and chlamydia, um, particularly in sites that don't include the urethra or the vagina, are quite low, particularly in HIV clinics. And so the goal would be to kind of increase those, those, the rates of screening in those um, what we call extra genital sites. And so we introduced the self-collection program uh, as a way for patients to screen themselves. And what that involves is using the same swabs that a provider would, um, but being able to, um, we have this set up in the bathroom, go to the bathroom, um, see big, large format instructions, uh, pictorial instructions, um, that they can follow to collect their own samples. So this is the kit that uh, patients use to do their self-collection. The first um, object is a, is a cup for urine collection. The second two are, uh, are two swabs, uh, one for the throat and one for the rectum. And those two swabs then go into um, PCR media or, or media to uh, amplify DNA to look for gonorrhea and chlamydia. And then finally, we have a questionnaire that we've been having people fill out to um, tell us about their experience with self-collection, um, their, their comfort, um, their, um, whether or not they actually like to do something like this at home, whether this would make them screen more, and uh, whether they would recommend screening to a friend. We have definitely seen from, the, from January when we initiated this program um, till now a, a, a substantial increase in the rates of screening uh, for patients with uh, uh, for asymptomatic screening of extragenital sites. Patients are surprised that they could have gonorrhea or chlamydia in places they don't have symptoms. Um, and commonly folks think that symptoms are the hallmark of these infections when most of the time they're actually asymptomatic. By finding and treating these infections, you're reducing the burden of disease um, in the population and also reducing transmission.